But where does it go? Where does it stop? What's inside of the lollipop? is with some plants that come from somewhere far away. She's found them in a house of glass. Where's her special place today? in a botanical garden. That's a place where they grow lots of different plants and flowers, especially ones from other countries. They grow the plants outside, but also inside, in big houses made of glass called greenhouses. Can you see the greenhouse roofs over there? They look big even from here. Peggy's inside one of the greenhouses. See if you can spot her. Peggy, amongst all these colourful plants. Normally these plants go outside in their own country, but it's too cold here, so they're grown inside the greenhouses where it's hot and wet. Peggy went to visit a country where it's hot and wet, and her friends told her about the plants that grow there. She went to a country called Jamaica. In Jamaica where it is very hot, yet rains a lot, there are new things to see. Look with Peggy, look around at plants and flowers growing out of the ground. Can you help Peggy spot some flowers and leaves? yellow flower or this fan-like tree. Peggy Dean, look with Peggy. What can there be? Perhaps some creatures you don't often see.
Hello, Peggy. Did you spot this pale green lizard? Or that Jamaican hummingbird? And this great big spider? Yes, Peggy did. Can you spot this lizard? There it is. I'm just helping Peggy make a scrapbook to remind her of her visit to Jamaica. She's got lots of pictures in it and she's got some more photographs here to put in it. Let's take a look. Oh look, there's Peggy on the plane. She must have been ever so excited. And here is someone climbing a coconut palm to get to the coconuts right at the top. It's Dave! Dave beside Peggy's waterfall. I hope he didn't get wet. And there's Dave again at the fishing village. Looks like they've had a good catch. Well, I'll finish off Peggy's picture of a lizard. She wasn't able to take a photograph because lizards go too quickly. But I think this picture should remind her. Peggy, come and have a look at this creature. Now these are what I wanted to show you. They're called terrapins. And in fact, they've got a red mark just on their top of their heads because they're called red-eared terrapins. That's their proper name. <laughs> I think he's come to say hello, Peggy. Now if you have a look at the terrapin's back, it's got a shell on it with a pattern. It looks a bit like the shell is cracked, but it's not. And there are creatures that are bigger than terrapins called turtles, and they've got a similar shell got a pattern on it looks like a crack. Now I know a story called How Turtle Got a Crack Back. Once Turtle had a shell as smooth and clear as a mirror and Turtle lived on the banks of the river where the forest birds flocked every morning. They came to preen their feathers and admire themselves in Turtle's shell. <laughs> One morning, they arrived bursting with excitement. They made so much noise that Turtle could tell neither head nor tail what they were talking about until Paris, said Paris. <laughs> the scarlet ibis, who live in the swamp, are holding a fete on Saturday night, and we're all invited. Not to all of us, sneered Peacock. Only creatures who can fly. <laughs> what, do you mean even mosquito and cockroach can go? asked Turtle. Yes, <laughs> Conte, said Parrot. Doesn't seem right that you should be left out. Yeah. Well, Turtle didn't say anything, but he thought, if such no good creatures as mosquitoes and cockroach can go, then by hook or by crook, I shall go too. That night, there was a big storm. The wind tore huge trees from their roots. The next morning, the birds drifted in looking like oily rags. Sadly, they peered into Turtle's shell and tried to fluff up their wet feathers, while Turtle watched them fluffing and preening in vain. Ah, oh, my friends, said Turtle, you are lucky that you've still got a day or two before the fate on Saturday night to dry your feathers. I, for one, said Peacock, don't intend going to the fate looking like a tramp. Oh, if only we could borrow your shell. Turtle to use as a mirror. Well then Turtle said, as bold as brass, well, if you want my shell, you'll have to take me with you. <laughs> said Parrot, in that case we'll have to teach you how to fly. <laughs> well, of course Parrot was only joking, but the birds were willing to try anything, and after a great deal of chitter and chatter, decided to each give Turtle some feathers. And on Saturday night, he flew with them to the fate on the swamp. When they arrived, they found a quiet corner for Turtle and warned him to stay out of sight. Well, at first, all went well. The birds popped back and forth and preened their feathers in Turtle's shell, for it was indeed a windy night. And when they came, they brought delicious savouries and sweets for Turtle to feast on. Suddenly, he heard the strains of music. 
His toes began to tingle and twitch, and the music flowed through his body, and Turtle moved towards the music and began to waltz round and round. He danced with such grace that everybody crowded around. Well, the birds tried to catch his attention, but the music had cast a spell over Turtle. He could hear nothing and see nothing but the music. And as he danced, his feathers began to fall off. Well, soon the guests began to whisper, and the whisper turned into a hiss, and then angry shouts, Intruder! Who brought him? He's not one of us! Tear those feathers off! Well, the bird saw what was going on and decided it was time to get Turtle out. Well, Turtle had enough feathers left to fly away with the birds, but he wasn't a bit sorry for all the trouble he'd started. He boasted about his performance. I fly like a bird, he said, and I dance better than any bird. Well, that was the last straw. The birds were so angry that they stripped all the feathers off Turtle, and he fell from the sky. And as he fell, he turned round and round and landed whack on his back. And his shell was so hard, it didn't break but it cracked all over. And from that day to this, he stayed just so. Peggy Patches Puzzle. Peggy's back in a greenhouse. She's found some plants that need a lot of water to drink, but they need something to eat as well. What do you think it is? All these plants like to eat flies, and this is called a Venus flytrap. And can you see the little hairs inside? Well, when a fly walks on those, the plant snaps shut and catches the fly. And these little teeth on top are like the bars of a cage to keep the fly in. I wonder if it's hungry. I've got some flies here. I have to touch these hairs like a real fly would when it's walking around. Yes, that one's hungry. Any more ready for lunch? Oh. Hey, Peggy, huh? Peggy? Where's Peggy gone? I wonder if she's gone to one of the other greenhouses. See if you can find her. <laughs> Peggy, you found some leaves like the ones your friend showed you in Jamaica. Bringing pictures to remind Peggy of this garden in Jamaica. Thank you. 
Peggy, a tree made from your friend's leaf prints. And that can go in Peggy's Jamaican garden. I think there's room for another tree though. Make one out of newspaper. Open it out. And now just roll it up. Roll it all the way to the edge. Like that. And then a bit of sticky tape there. And some sticky tape there. And now to cut some leaves. Mind your fingers and just cut part way down through all the bits of paper. All the way down. Last bit. There you go. And now you just pull it up and the tree grows. There we go. And that can go in the corner over there. Why not take a look round Peggy's Jamaican garden? Well, there are lots of trees and vines. And look, there's a parrot in that tree. And here is a waterfall that goes all the way down into a pond that's surrounded by brightly coloured flowers. And what's that on the rock? Looks like a turtle. Oh, there's the bus bell. Let's tell Peggy. Peggy, catch the bus. Peggy will be on another patch next week. She'll see you there. Bye. <sighs> Almost shiny enough to see my face in this turtle shell. <laughs> what do we need? Cracks. And one on the other side. Bye. Bye, Ron Jamaica. Bye. Thank you. 